well there we are a 30 inch mooring ball <coughs> luckily um, we picked it up at cost which was great normally uh, I think it was like 400 bucks these things have gone up quite a bit uh, since I've last been involved with boating my last personal mooring that I had um, had a um, a 30 inch ball I had a 30 inch ball on mine as well I had a 500 pound mushroom uh, I had um, three-quarter chain on the bottom half inch chain on the top and installed it cost me fourteen hundred dollars which wasn't bad okay and then uh, for the next three or four years I would maintain it you know by dropping it in the mud for the winter um, and then you know just tying a line to it with a couple of bottles so that it'll float and then uh, go back and pull the bottles pull the line and therefore the chain comes up with it <coughs> reattach the, the ball that I had cleaned and uh, I did that for four years and then uh, on the fifth year I would have uh, Andy the guy who did the mornings for a living just kind of lift it out to see what everything looked like and if everything was fine he would drop it back in and it cost me a hundred bucks for him to lift it and drop it again because he's really not doing any work um, you know and that was it uh, but now these balls are up around 400 bucks uh, we got a deal on it uh, you know, uh, the marina gave it to us for cost because of uh, being regarded, being involved with the Coast Guard. Um, cost us $230. Uh, that was with the collar and uh, tax exempt, so we don't have to worry about that. So, uh, my plan is today is to get it striped. I've got to put a red and blue. And I have to put official use only in lettering. Um, and I noticed the ring that's around it uh, is really, uh, it's not a hair, it's not epoxy, it's not a fixed. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box, the ring actually slid off the ball. So that tells me that I'm probably going to have to put some type of, uh, some type of an epoxy mix um, that sticks to plastic. Now I do have some stuff over here that I had purchased from a manufacturer of plastics and kydex. Um, it's a tube, uh, I forgot what it's called, something 6000. I think I have a little of that left that may work, so we'll see what happens. So we'll get that out of the way, and that means this is on hold again. <clears throat> I may get this in the truck sometime this season <laughs> you know now getting it in the truck is just part of it you know uh, the wiring and everything is already there so that's not a big deal uh, however the antenna for the two meter or for the uh, 11 meter is not on the truck the antenna for the VHF marine radio is uh, which I can use for the two meter but I still have to get an antenna, two antennas on the truck, you know, uh, to do it the way that I want it done. Um, so we'll see what happens from there. And the only reason why I'm keeping the VHF Marine is every now and then I uh, have to do a Marine inspection or something, and I got to stay in contact with uh, Sector Long Island. So, anyway, so much for that. Let me get busy on the ball. Well, this is where we're at so far. The problem being is the lettering does not want to stick to the ball because the ball has been treated. And even though I wiped it down, uh, noontime, here goes the train, uh, even though I wiped it down, the lettering still doesn't want to adhere uh, strong enough. Uh, where I can trust it out there to the elements. Now the stripe that's around the ball, that was put on by the manufacturer. That's actually been put over and heated and shrunk. And it has a little bit of an 
adhesive on it so when it shrunk it kind of stuck. Uh, that could come off, but at that point it's pretty well adhered to the ball. So I vinyled on to that. Now I'd rather have had larger fonts, larger lumbers. Let me get back to you. Well, we're uh, almost done with the ball. We've got it primed and now we're painting a couple of the uh, racing stripes. So that's what we're up to now. Okay, here we go. We had our racing stripes. Okay, got a little runnage right there because of the tape. I tried even the blue fine line tape. And uh, as you can see, it still kind of bled through a little bit. Um, but that's what we got. I think it looks okay. Uh, USCG, USCG Ox. And then we got official. And we have that on both sides. And we got the stripe on this side. I just got to clean that little piece off in there. And that's basically where we're at. So that should help keep the squatters off. Alright. And uh, see what we can do from there. Alright. Alright. Side eye. Side eye. I talked to both Kim and Tom, and uh, that's what we decided with the colors, instead of the large blue and small red. Uh, I could make the red a little larger, but I think I'm going to leave it just like it is. It kind of gives us the uh, what we need. The only thing i got to put on it now is the numbers, our permit number. So I'm going to... Uh, Go out to the truck and pull the permit so I can get the numbers off it and we will be all set after that. Alright, had to paint the red and blue. Uh, I just got to clean up some of the, uh, the reflective, those little white spots around the ring uh, that's reflective. Um, stuck them on real quick, didn't realize it. Just a little crooked, but not a big deal. I can straighten those out. Take me about five minutes to straighten all those out, so we're all set. I got the number on the top, the permit number, so uh, we're ready to go. I had to paint the red and blue on there though, only because the vinyl would not stick to the ball, regardless of what I did to it. I acetoned it, I wiped it, I cleaned it, no matter what. So, uh, so that's where we're at.